I walked up to him. I was like, dude, why aren't we doing another movie? Can we? I'm, I'm going to call Jim today. Arnold Schwarzenegger is a man whose life has been defined by that genre, allowing me to be there up uh, beside him was a moment. And Melanie, Miss Kiss, you know, it's so funny. You said to me, you know, I don't know what to say, and I'm afraid I'm not going to say the right thing. But you are incredible. That was exquisite, exquisitely written. Beautiful. Thank you so much. You're such an icon. Thank you so much. How do you describe the feeling of today? You know what? It's, it's actually been fun. I mean, life is, this part of life is fun. This isn't... I'm not overly emotional. This felt very celebratory. I thought Melanie's speech about me was very moving, but it just shows that we love each other. I am so happy to be here today to honor and celebrate one of the most extraordinary women that I've ever known, my friend Jamie Lee Curtis. I may cry, sorry. Arnold couldn't have been sweeter. I'm a good friend of Jamie Lee Curtis and I had the pleasure of working with her uh, in True Lies, and uh, she was the most extraordinary actress that I've ever worked with. I mean, this is a serious, serious player that can kick some serious ass. She's been celebratory, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take this as a win in a hard life where people are struggling and I've struggled a lot in my life, and in this moment, so far, Today has been a beautiful day. I have to say, Arnold was a surprise for us. We didn't know he was going to be here, and I'm a true lies stan. What type of memories did that bring back? Well, it made me want to do another one with him. I came by your office today. I was in the area, and I thought that you made one day of lunch. Re really? Well, you must have just missed me. I walked up to him, and I was like, dude, why aren't we doing another movie? Can we? I'm, I'm going to call Jim today. You know, you couldn't you couldn't watch True Lies for years. You could not get a copy of it, and it's like finally on Hulu, and I'm obsessed. I want to know if this is true. I heard the story that the first day of Halloween, you left, and you were like, I think I'm going to get fired from this no, movie. No, I didn't think I was. I thought I did a great job. I really felt very connected to Lori, and, and then I got home, and then the phone rang, and my roommate, Tina Cassidy at the time, said, Jamie John Carpenter is on the phone. Now, normally... When a director calls you at home after a full day of work, your first day of work, I've heard of those stories where people have been fired and you, you know, you know that's a possibility. And I was, that walk to the phone was long. And then I remember it felt like it was a thousand pounds heavy. And I remember putting it up to my ear and going like, hello. And this is what John Carpenter said to me that day. Hey, darling, because he's that guy. Hey, darling, I just want to let you know how great today was and how excited I am to be working with you on this. And I just wanted to let you know that that was a great day of work. Because it was the character work we were doing. It was Lori with her friends. It was Lori babysitting the little boy, walking down the street, singing the song of longing for love. And it was the character work that we were doing. And I think he just saw that character you know, kind of come alive that day as I felt. And I just, that moment, and by the way, is the only director in my entire career who has ever called after a first day of work to say that they were happy and that it was good.